Hey everyone, Sarah here coming at you with my week 8 post-op video. 8, I think I just held up 9. It's 8. Um, we'll do numbers first. Starting weight 327, day of surgery 290, currently 255, which is a 4 pound loss from last week. I'm very happy with that. That's 35 pounds lost since surgery and 72 lost overall since the beginning. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance because I have a lot of things I wanted to say in this video and I'm at work. So if I keep on looking over here, I'm just seeing if there's anyone at my front desk and if there is, I have to pause you. My apologies. Um, let's see, what are we going to do today? Let's start off with food. I've officially been okayed as of the 22nd to have anything. Um, I was told by my doctor, just don't dive right into a pizza because you don't know whether or not you can handle, say, tomato sauce. I'm supposed to try everything individually. And then eventually, yeah, you know what I mean. I can have things, obviously. Not as much as I used to, but I'm okay with that. Um, this weekend, I actually ate out three times, which is a big deal because I hadn't eaten out in two plus months. Um, we went to Texas Roadhouse, I got the roasted chicken, which lasted me three days, and for sides, I got the green beans and the broccoli and carrots, but they were not cooked enough, so I didn't eat those. I still thought they were a little too hard for my liking. Also went to Chili's and got the fajitas. I didn't eat the actual tortilla, I just ate the, um, peppers, onions, Chicken, my main source of protein these days, and then like the sour cream, guacamole, stuff like that, just without the tortilla. And where else did we go? Oh, we went to Fire and Ice, which is a place, I think there's only two of them, which is here and no, there's a couple of them, but they're all local to, to Boston. Really cool place if you're ever in the area, check it out. It's this big... It's not like a sushi grill hibachi place. It's different. You get a bowl and you put all your stuff in it. It's got meats and veggies and anything you could ask for. Noodles, everything. You put whatever you want inside of this bowl and you bring it up to a big round grill and they cook it all right there. You could have 45 people around the grill at the same time and they just kind of do their thing. I did some chicken and mushrooms with a, I think it was honey garlic sauce. It all went down very well because I've had chicken obviously and I've had mushrooms. But yeah, chicken these days has been my main source of protein. Shit, there's someone at the desk. I'm back. Um, sorry, someone had a check-in. I think I was talking about protein and chicken being my main source these days. And I think that's all I had to say. <laughs> because I don't know what I was going to say. Um, just reading through my notes real quick. Ooh, I have a new love. It's so good. Hint water, it's just water that does not taste like Fruit 2 It doesn't have any of that yucky aftertaste sweetener. It's delicious. This one's strawberry kiwi. I have a raspberry one around here somewhere that I hadn't opened yet. I got pear. I got so many of them. I bought them at Whole Foods. They were four for five dollars. I think I got like 12 of them. Um, so, 
I've been hitting my protein intake. I've been hitting my water intake. I've been going to the gym. I go four times a day. Oh, four times a day. Ha! <laughs> right. I go four times a week. Um, I'll do... This week I've kind of been... I say this week, but it's Monday. This past couple times I've went, I've kind of been upping my workouts by doing... 30 minutes on the treadmill, I'll walk, I'll run, I'll do inclines, and I do that for 30 minutes, I burn about 300 calories for the most part. Um, I also have been lifting. I really want to do the free weights, but I don't want to try it and look like a fool. I'm tempted to ask someone there to just show me. Or I'll just watch some YouTube videos because that's a genius idea and it just came to me. Also, I did the first three weeks of the Couch to 5K. And as most of you already know if you watched my previous videos, I get a really bad case of the gout. Which is, sometimes it's in my left ankle. Right now I have it in my right foot, like the ball of my big toe kind of. And it's very painful. I can walk on it right now. It's not that bad. But to try to run on it, and especially being into the fourth week of Couch to 5K, it's they want you to run for like five minutes, and I just... Physically, I could do it, but the, the tall pain, my pain is just too bad. So I kind of am not doing Couch to 5K right now for that reason. Hopefully the gout goes away and I can start over, because it is something I want to finish. I want to I want to run. Um, NSVs. I went to Old Navy and I bought a size 18 pants, and that's fabulous because I've been like a size 20, 22. Sometimes even the 22s were too tight, but I never bought a 24 because in my mind, if I bought a 24. That's as big as they are. That's as big as they come. When in reality, I know I could go to like Lane Bryant and get bigger ones, but I didn't want to. Um, I had a pair of goal pants, which sounds ridiculous now because they're size 18. But I put them on, and I've had them for... They're brand new. I never wore them. I want to say I've had them for 10 years almost. And they never fit, and I put them on, and they fit. But they're too long. So, it was great they fit. I was happy, but it was a letdown that they were too long. I know I could have them taken out, but they just weren't all that flattering. Anyways, uh, what else do I have for NSVs? Oh, another fun one was when we went to Texas Roadhouse. We got seated, whatever. For some reason we always get the booths and I'm always like this to the booth like hi how you doing and this time when I sat in I sat in and I got there so comfortably you know I had my space I had like a solid six inches and I looked at my husband and I was like Ivan and he's like what and I was like look and he's like that's cool so that was pretty cool um some of the lows this week I've experienced is the hair loss. A lot of, well, I'm not going to say a lot of it, but more than usual. Hopefully, I mean, it looks like I have a lot of hair, but that's just because it's a curly mess right now. I mean, you can kind of, hopefully I don't lose all my hair. I don't want to lose my lovely locks. Um... Oh, another one about clothes on my lows is that I've almost outgrown, I probably have like three pairs of pants that aren't black work pants, and that's it. Because anything else I bought is too small, and everything else I have is too big, so I've kind of just been buying on the way, but I don't go crazy. I really only get dressed in clothes clothes on the weekends otherwise I wear whatever around the house doesn't matter 
something. At least it's something. Um, oh, also, I don't think I've experienced dumping yet because I was just reading about it online and it's like diarrhea and cramps and I haven't got that. But I got, what was I eating? I ate a banana for breakfast and then like an hour later I felt like I was still a little hungry so I said okay you know let me put some frosted mini wheats the little small ones in a bowl with some milk and let them get a little soggy and I did that and I started to eat them I probably got like four bites in and I got like sharp pains and it's not like they were hard and crispy still they were soggy so I know it wasn't that, but it felt like I was being like stabbed. It was not comfortable. And then I started to get the dry mouth and the foamies. And I did a little throw up, but it wasn't like food that I threw up. It was just spit. Saliva. Very odd. But that's all I had for those. I'll take it. Um... Oh, I also cleaned my room out, and by my room I mean all of my clothes. I have a lot of clothes that I want to donate, pretty much size 2x, 3x, and pant sizes 20s and 22s. I want to donate them, but if anyone local to Boston or I suppose I could ship them whatever is interested just comment below leave me your email or your Facebook link and I'll add you and we'll connect that way because I hate to just throw them away not throw them away but give them to someone to some place like Salvation Army and they just sit there on the shrek because no one wants to buy them Whatever. I don't fuck. I don't know. And that's all I got for you folks. I'm 12 minutes and 21 seconds in. Next time you see me will be Thursday the 26th. Because that will be my two month surgiversary, so to say. I don't really like the word surgiversary. Because two months isn't really an anniversary. We'll say it's my two month post op. And I'm going to do my measurements again because that's what I did for my one month post-op. We'll do a little comparison. Come say hi so you guys can all see my beautiful face. Mm. I'm a goof. I don't know. But that's all I have for you. Have a good day and see you Thursday.